suffice. Need no introduction. Stop my own okay, no one touch it. Ooh. Became what they said I couldn't. Ooh. Mediocre, that won't cut it. Life is a gift, I wanna live it to the fullest while I can. Why would I not wanna know my days in this game are numbered? Might as well enjoy the few years. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the fastest rising cities in the U.S., the capital city of Austin, Texas. Today we've got a week six matchup for you here as it'll be the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Aviators of Austin. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season and we are underway on EA Sports. Taking it right down on the kick return and the aviators will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon now for the extra point daniel carlson and it's good to make it seven to nothing So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. This will be returned from deep in the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Throws caught by Schoolmaker. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They fire this one quickly to Austin. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power and you find a way to pick up first downs. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes. 
He finds Pickens over the middle. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. When you look at this defense, and they find themselves just outside the top ten in the league against the pass, currently bringing up the number 11 spot. And when you're getting ready to face the number one overall offense in the NFL, it does not matter where you rank defensively because you got your hands full. You don't know what you're going to face, but you know that that's a strong unit that you're getting ready for. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. Now Mahomes going to shift him around. And they will run on the inside handoff. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Completed to Hyatt. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's second down. But yet another completion here on this opening drive. And he's now perfect four of four to start. Pretty solid execution here. And how about how everyone's handled their nerves? Because you know what it's like to start a ball game. You're so amped up and ready to go. that sometimes the execution isn't there. They've been flawless so far. Well drilled, well prepared, and excited to start this game. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Everyone see this offense try to spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Now here's Mahomes. Working the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And Cincinnati score. Traylon Burks, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Bengals march it right down the field on their opening drive to take the early lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Two able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On 
On second down, here's Allen. He's airing it out for Williams. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Allen off the play fake. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result, this is going to be a safety. Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not totally privy to what went on with their offensive meetings, but Charles, something tells me that one wasn't in the play. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us, but I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. drive about to get going this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated they both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind to me it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other Here's second and five now from the 37. Mahomes going to throw. Under pressure and down he goes. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no, no, not at all. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. He'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Through one quarter, 9-7 our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Bengals in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. I don't need to. I don't need to. From midfield, here's Mahomes. And incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now a second and ten. Now Mahomes. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Here's Walker to start the drive. They'll start following the interception in great field position at the 45. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper at least, a great situation for him upcoming there. Unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead. Make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap. 
the trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to stew about it. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line. Tackled there. That's good for a first and ten. Walker now on first and ten. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Josh Allen, he says that he wants to continue to perfect executing the run-pass option. Looked pretty good there. And he's put in the minds of all people trying to defend him that his legs create big plays. So guess who benefits? His running back. You no doubt about it. We just saw it there. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second and 10. Alert, alert, alert. Here's Allen to throw it. Nowhere to turn here and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. That didn't appear to be a design safety blitz. I think he was just going off instinct. I love the way you described that because I'm thinking along with you. I'm not sure that was designed that way, but he saw an opportunity, gambled a little bit, and made it pay off. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Allen now looks to throw. This one goes underneath to Walker. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Now Allen. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A big time sack there on fourth down. And the Bengals will get the football back. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control of that. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little more metal back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Throwing now is Mahomes. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And a find the open man. That's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 24 yards. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, And he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. Mahomes now on first down. His 
first throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Looking for trailing Burks that time. And it's second down. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Oftentimes when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Third and 12. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. throw is Mahomes. Oh, into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And the return here will go to the 31 yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it. When... And that's caught inside the 30. And touchdown! Jamison Williams with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Aviators are able to move back in front. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to five. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Bengals drive about to get going. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. On the left side, it's complete. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He finds Austin complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Here's Mahomes to throw. And brought in downfield by Burks. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play.
Mahomes to throw once more. Hyatt has got it. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll try to run this one in. And just a short game that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good work there. Holding him out on first down. And this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two? Maybe even three more plays. Yellow. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And this time he is in. Yes. A great effort there. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Bengals have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line. But there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here. And we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the whole hard and finish in the end zone. And he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. Young Lane two is set to kick off. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you wonder if with Allen's arm, they might just take their chances by dialing up a long one. That one complete. It's tanked down. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. This kick to shatter the NFL record, a 69-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Daniel Carlson set to kick off. A field goal, the difference. 17 14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And a fair catch signaled for and taken. So they'll begin this third quarter from their 25 yard line. second down. Yellow, yellow. 
Mahomes now to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That is caught. Finding room at midfield. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. Pass the 10 to the 11 yard line. And that's where the return stops. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And their defense did its job, forcing the takeaway there to start the half. And now can the offense follow suit? And you'd better believe that one side of the ball feeds off the work of the other. So they'll have to come out, establish some rhythm, and go down and take the lead. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest. With a guy with that type of speed, you do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Allen again here on second and ten. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To the air, Allen. his own seven. Trayvon Walker able to record his fifth sack of the season. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. Taken right around the 44. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Bengals take over first and ten. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. They fire this one quickly to Austin. Four yards, the pickup, first down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. 40 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Play. This time they say, no, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. 
that was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. That's caught. It's Austin West side. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. First down, One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just float from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Ball at the 9 on second and eight. shot here on the ground and they go the wrong way on this one losing yardage back at the 12 chalk that up as a four yard loss and now it's third down the short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play those extra tight ends they weren't able to secure their blocks and that one ended up going backwards Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Mahomes going to throw, and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Five yards, not enough, and it'll be fourth down. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Austin. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Kuhn knocks this one through the post. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Allen looks to throw on second down. Rush coming and he's taken down. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. On play action, Allen under pressure. They got him again. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up fourth. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number... It's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. The Bengals drive about to get going. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs 
and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation, and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And now a stoppage here. We'll get another timeout. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Gets it down close to the 10-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. Mahomes now on the sneak. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. Now a first carry for their fullback. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. And they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Nothing else. They've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll try and run this one right up the gun. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And certainly some pressure here on Young Way Koo. This to perhaps salt this one away. Well, 
this is one of those games where if you win it, it feels extra special. But to lose a close one like this, Charles, remember where they didn't score any points in the second half, that has to sting a bit more. Absolutely, and I really think that they're going to spend so much time pouring over this game film, trying to figure out where their calls went wrong, how they didn't execute on certain plays. They were so close. Yeah, this one's going to linger for a little while as they try and diagnose this loss. So for the Bengals, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Seattle Seahawks. Meanwhile, for Austin, they taste defeat for the first time this season as they drop to 5-1. And, and now they'll head to the bye week as they'll be back in action in Week 8. Yesterday's price is not the same price Eating up was for breakfast, I can tell you what it tastes like 